to hooks ahead of this one. They know full well that the heroes could today clinch the league title. Will they do it? Stay with us, we'll have it all for you coming up next on EA TV. And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And today could be a significant one for the travelling fans who are hoping their team will secure the league title. It's Fulham facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, Derek, the away fans have come here in their numbers, expecting their team to clinch the title today. What an achievement this would be for the club and its players. But they've still got to put in a good performance and win here. It certainly won't be easy. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. And they kick off here. Undav. Alexis McAllister. Kaoru Mitoma. Can he put it in? Oh, it's in! And as things stand, they will be crowned champions. Well, they're in the driving seat. Can they now see this through? Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Alexander Mitrovic, well, racing past his man. Kearney, well, able to close down the short. And teammates around him. Well, the fans are begging for a shot, can't get the shot through. Well, as we look at the table, the visitors have been dazzling us with their attractive brand of football. Playing to the... Could be! And a goal! And it could be the one that puts a seal on the title! Well, that should be it, Derek. Surely they can't let it slip from here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Kurzawa. And Palinha with it. A super tackle and they've won possession. Plenty of options. Real chance. 
Well, full credit to him. He had the audacity to try it. Well, that's so close to being a lovely goal. It just doesn't come down in time. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. Could be! Oh, a goal it is! But no need to panic just yet. Well, that certainly makes it interesting. You can feel the anxiety out there. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Said Benrama. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Tom Kearney. Palinha. They've regained possession. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. The Defenders need to cover. And can they create something? And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. He's given us away. Alexis McAllister. Moises Caicedo. Making sure nothing untoward happened. But a pass that lacks quality. Pascal Gross. And Palinha with it. A possession lost, intercepted. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Kearney. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, it's been difficult for Brighton to get too much of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Pascal Gross. Nicely time tackle. Alexander Mitrovic. William. William. Cross could be useful. Well, nothing untoward happened. And it's still on for him. On the mark. Kearney. Surely the equaliser. Oh, it's gone in! And I'll tell you what, that could really dent the title hopes. Well, this is now a test of character. Can they get themselves back into this game? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal.
So the ball is running again at 2 all. Pascal Gross. Mitoma. A fine use of the ball. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Good looking move, this. Kenny Tete. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Tete. William. And a Fulham throw in coming up here. A danger here as he runs at them. Oh, it's gone in from bad to worse. Scant evidence of a title party here. Far from it. Well, this certainly wasn't in the script, was it? I just can't see them getting back into this one. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And there goes the half-time whistle. Another 45 minutes left. But as it stands, the title party will have to wait for another day. Well, Derek, I'd like to see a little bit more from them, particularly as they've been so good this season. I'm sure we'll see a response in the second 45. So back underway here into the second half. William. Kaoru Mitoma. Alexis McAllister. Now Kurzawa. Mitrovic. Tom Kearney well read to put an end to that attack and over the touchline for what will be a Fulham throw and intercepts again now well, that's a well-timed pass Ross oh maybe the equaliser and a goal And what a crucial goal that could be in the title race. They need to keep pushing, though. They do need another. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Ben Rama, Tom Kearney, now with Ben Rahma, now can they make something happen? Well, disappointing end to the move. Don't forget we have more live action from oh, the... Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. Oh, he's done it! And we might just have witnessed the goal that secures the title. Well, what a moment that could turn out to be. They've just got to defend well now. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, how about this? 4-3. Ben Rama. Fruitful looking attack. 
And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Good use of advantage by the referee. Now well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Plenty of options, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Mitrovic and Willian whips it in well no way through Undav Lamptey Ross opportunity here there it is two to the good now and that gives them a buffer Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Scoreline we see all that often. 5 3. Tom Kearney. And into the last 20 minutes. Mitoma. Ferguson. Caicedo. Superbly read and executed. Said Ben Rama. Alexander Mitrovic just not looking confident in possession. Dunk. Tariq Lamptey. McAllister. Interception to snuff out the danger. Adarabayo. Tom Kearney. Now with Ben Rahma. He could pick out a teammate. A very timely interception. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. And then the perfect position to read it. Mitoma. McAllister. Oh, great attacking play. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. William. And it's a quality pass. Kearney. Can he get one back? Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Substitution for Brighton and Hove Albion. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Alexis McAllister. To be replaced by number 27, Billy Gilmore. And played in by William. And able to get a body in the way. Gilmore. Kaoru Mitoma. Now with Gilmore. Ferguson. Determined defending. Ah. 
and the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Oh, he's given it away. Gross. It should be absolutely spot on with that challenge. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions, there's the whistle, and the celebrations can truly begin in earnest now. They are the champions. And no doubt about it, they've been the best team this season, and they fully deserve this title. What a brilliant achievement for everybody involved with this club. Well, the celebrations will continue long into the night, and don't forget they'll receive the trophy at the next home game. Naturally, we'll have all the coverage of that live here on EA TV.